In this episode of Slow Boat Sailing, you'll see Linus, Anna, and Daly prepare the boat for its offshore passage to Tahiti in the cruiser's mecca of Nuka Hiva's Taioi Bay. Here at Slow Boat Sailing, you'll see the stories of the most interesting sailors in the world in our round-the-world adventure. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss our next video. We just spent the last several days. I arrived on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So... Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday night. So five nights in the main bay in the Marquesas, in the main bay in Nukahiva, Taihoe Bay. And uh, we got a number of things done in terms of we got more fuel, uh, we reprovisioned, we got lots of vegetables at the vegetable market. Got the furler unjammed uh, because of the route line atop the mast. I recommissioned a boat back in the Marquesas. I did not run the Genoa halyard through a jam cleat, and as a result, it was not hoisted all the way up and tightly when I raised it or had to use the horn cleat for other purposes. I believe that incompletely raised halyard caused the furler to jam and necessitated the mass climbing. Nukahiva Yacht Services me up with the rigger, who was not a fan of my solo mass climber and would have preferred a bosun chair, I believe. I was grateful to have him because I prefer not to climb the mast. I didn't get the lettuce at the farmer's market, but I did get some tomatoes, who were really good quality, and a lot of other fruit. So we'll have a lot of fresh things on the boat. Nukahiva has the most fresh vegetables I've seen in the Marquesas, but that's not saying much. You gotta get there early in the morning if you wanna get all the best stuff from the vegetable market. Taioi Bay is the most crowded anchorage in the Marquesas, but it's a big anchorage and there's a lot of room for boats. It's one of the great crossroads of the Pacific. It's one of only two places that you can get fuel in the Marquesas. This likely was our last fill up before Tahiti. Unfortunately, I hurt my back slinging the jerry cans from the high dock and I would be sore for many more days. The options for grocery shopping are pretty limited, especially on a Sunday. ride from that uh, nice man and he gave me a ride to the only magazine that we could find open I hear on a Sunday afternoon uh, the magazine Celine so I think in the guide it writes about two magazines in town but there's actually four you just need to get a little further out magazine that I uh, hitched a ride to, the store I hitched a ride to, is right across the street from this historic site, and so I'm going to check this out. This site was the uh, home of a mother of a 
very important chief here in Taioi Bay. Is on the key uh, just beyond uh, where the two magazines are. Just keep on walking and you'll eventually get to it. one of these sites that I've seen in the terms of it seems like the, at least the sculpture is a little bit older not uh, necessarily all replicas uh, and it's it's very easy in town to see offices right by the dinghy docks. Before departing for Tahiti, we needed to get water, and there was no water in Taioi Bay that was potable. So we had to go to the adjacent Controllers Bay, the southeast side of the island. There was only one boat anchored in the east lobe of Controllers Bay and many more sailboats could have been anchored there easily. Humi Bay, uh, where we are filling up the water tanks. Our hope is to fill water today, but it looks like it's going to take a long time uh, and probably three trips and then uh, we'll move on and have some fun, uh, either here or in Wapu. Unfortunately, you, you can't get potable water in Taioi Bay, at least not in large quantities, and so you have to uh, use the taps here or in Kaipavai, 
uh, or in Daniels Bay or Anaho Bay in New Cahiva uh, if you want potable water. Daniels Bay is, is tidal, so you have to go there at high tide. You also need to get permission uh, from the caretaker of the property because it's on private land. Uh, here in Humi Bay, it's public and it's not tidal, but you j just need over 150 feet of hose uh, to get to your dinghy. Um, obviously, if you have jerry cans, you, there's no there's no need for hose. You just need to do the walking. For me, I'm doing the bladder tank setup, and the bladder tanks have to be in the water uh, because they're too heavy to carry. Refill water in Humi Bay, you need really long hose. It, I bought 100 feet of hose to Eva just to refill water here uh, because it seemed like the best option uh, in the northern Marquesas that I knew of. Uh, maybe it's something in Anaho Bay, but that's a lot of upwind sailing to get there. Uh, Daniels Bay seemed a little tricky. I was told that you need to, to go up the tidal stream and then get permission. And uh, there's another possibility in uh, Type of Bay, which is the, the middle bay of Controller Bay. We're in the easternmost bay of Controller Bay. Uh, but I don't know how much hose you need there, but I definitely needed this extra 100 feet uh, to get the water into the dinghy and keep the dinghy in the water. So obviously once you fill up the bladder, then uh, the dinghy's going to be pretty heavy, and so you pretty much want to have it floating in the water. Definitely need in excess of 100 uh, feet of uh, hose to do this. Probably 120 at least. I filled up the water the rest of that day and we were ready to have some fun the following day. In the next episode of Slow Boat Sailing, you'll see Anna and I sail to Wapu and hike a waterfall. Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing and hit the bell notification icon. And check out our earlier vlogs like when we got hit by a whale. I talked to Greg Cutson of Mantis Anchors about why weight in the tip of the mantis anchor is so important. The main issue I perceived with anchors was not really ultimate holding power. The reason they failed was because they never really properly set first place. So very rarely, 25 knots, you're overpowering a well-set anchor. We wanted to create something that going to a universal set. As a cruiser, when you go around, you find any locations that are really hard to get an anchor to bite. And we solved that problem. Go to mantisanchors.com to order yours for a better night's sleep.